In this video you learn how to do sentiment analysis with Python. Sentiment analysis, in other words, is finding the mood of a piece of text. So if it is positive or negative. Let's suppose you want to analyze a Twitter tweet or a Facebook post. So you can write a program which tells you if that text has a positive attitude or a negative attitude. And this is known as sentiment analysis. We're going to work on a Jupyter notebook. I am specifically on DeepNote here, deepnote.com. And we're going to use NLTK for this. I'm going to use NLTK because NLTK has a database which is pre-trained so it has all the words and it knows the mood of each word and that is known as the Vodder lexicon database so first you need to download that database using nltk.download if you're curious Vodder means Valence Aware Dictionary and Sentiment Reasoner. So that is the dataset that you need to download. So execute that cell and then create another code cell. And I'm going to use a variable here and then use a class which you need to import from nltk.sentiment import sentiment intensity analyzer so that is a class that handles all these analyses so you want to instantiate that class so once you you execute that cell then we have access to that class in this session so i'm going to create an instance of that store it in the analyzer variable and then i'm ready to find the mood of a text for example, let's say text one is equal to Hey, what a beautiful day. How amazing it is. So that is the text we want to analyze now. And to do that, you want to point to analyzer dot polarity scores. Polarity scores will calculate the positivity score and also the negativity coefficient. So positivity coefficient and negativity coefficient or scores if you want to call it like that. Inside this goes the text you want to analyze. Text 1 in this case and execute. I've got an error. Analyzer is not defined. I forgot to execute the analyzer definition and the text as well. So there we go. Um, the output of this is a dictionary. So let's see what this dictionary is made of. It has this pair of key and value, another pair of key and value, a third one and a fourth one. The first one shows the negativity coefficient and in this sentence it's zero so there's no negativity in that sentence the neutrality coefficient is 0 0.42 so the analyzer judges that this sentence is that percentage of neutrality and actually the sum of these three coefficients is always equal to one so in this case 0, 0.0 plus 0 0.42 plus 0 0.58 is equal to 1. So if the coefficient of positivity was less, then we would have more in here or more in there, so that we end up with 1 in total. So as you can see, this sentence is more positive than neutral and more positive, of course, than negative. And then we have this compound. Compound can range from minus 1 to 1. And the closer it is to 1, the more positive the text is. So that is another way to judge the positivity of a text. You can basically create a conditional now, such as if the 
value of compound, so I'm accessing the value of the compound key here, so that it will be equal to that coefficient of the compound. So if that coefficient is greater than zero, then we print out positive text else, print out negative text. And then we're going to get positive text since compound was greater than zero. If you want to go further and practice this, you can use the Twitter samples, which are available from NLTK, so you need to download them using Twitter samples here. So execute that. Oh, fix the typo. Download. There we go. Then down here, you can access Twitter samples using nltk.corpus.twitter samples. So the data set we have just downloaded dot strings. This method will give us a big list of tweets. So there's a lot of them. You can check the length of this and we see the total number of tweets in this list. So that is a list of strings. We have 30,000 tweets in here. So if you want to extract a single tweet, so tweet one, for example, is equal to that. And just get, for example, the tweet at position 42. And that will give us one single tweet. So that is the tweet and you can analyze these tweets now using the same analyzer. So um, analyzer dot polarity scores. And here goes the tweet, tweet one in this case. And then we see that the negativity is 0 0.2 here. Neutrality is 0 0.56 and positivity is yeah a bit higher than negativity. So the compound coefficient is more towards positivity. Let's try another one. 1045. So you can go up to 30,000. And hmm, this should be quite negative. I expect, so let's try. Yeah, so the compound coefficient is minus 0 0.8, obviously. And that is how you can analyze the moods of text. And this can have many, many applications. So I just gave you an example, a general example, but you can do different things, like you can even analyze audio. Uh, in the course, you have a lecture on speech recognition, so you can you can convert the audio to text and then find the mood of that text. So technically, you're finding the mood of the speech in the audio. That's one more example, but it's up to you what you can do with this analyzer. So I hope this worked for you. I hope you like it, and I'll talk to you later. See you.